us go to the altar of God, the God of our gladness and joy. Let us enter the courts of the house of the Lord and sing to the glory of God. Give praise with blasts of trumpet, with noble sounds of the horn, with the clash of the clanging cymbal. Give glory to the Lord. Let us go to the altar of God, the God of our gladness and joy. Let us enter the courts of the house of the Lord and sing to the glory of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord said to Elijah, you shall anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat of Abel-Meholah, as prophet to succeed you. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen. He was following the twelfth. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah, and said, Please let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him, and taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh, and gave it to his people to eat. Then Elisha left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
I say to the Lord, my Lord, how are you? O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. For you were called for freedom, brothers and sisters, but do not use this freedom as an opportunity for the flesh. Rather, serve one another through love. For the whole law is fulfilled in one statement, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you go on biting and devouring one another, beware that you are not consumed by one another. I say then, live by the Spirit, and you will certainly not gratify the desire of the flesh. For the flesh has desires against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. These are opposed to each other, so that you may not do what you want. But if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. When the days for Jesus' being taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there but they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed another to another village. As they were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. 
But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord. But first let me say farewell to my family at home. To him Jesus said, No one sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The essential message of today's gospel is sacrifice. If one truly desires to follow Jesus and enter the kingdom of God, it takes much sacrifice. We hear in the beginning of today's gospel, Jesus is resolutely determined to go to Jerusalem to embrace his own sacrifice and death. And he doesn't do this because he's some kind of masochist that enjoys pain and suffering. True sacrifice stems not from self-afflicted harm, but from charity and persecution. Through Jesus' charity in trying to inspire others to believe in him, that he is the savior of humanity, he is persecuted for this. Jesus is essentially on a mission to go to Jerusalem to cleanse the temple of its money changers. Jesus, Jesus wants people there to love God and neighbor and not to love money. Many of us heard the popular biblical saying, and it comes from St. Thomas, The love of money is the root of all evil. It's the love of money that's bringing the temple down. And so Jesus wants to lift it up through the love of God and neighbor. And so Jesus is persecuted for embarking on this mission. And some Samaritans in today's gospel, they don't want to welcome him. They don't want to associate themselves with someone that's perceived as a criminal, with someone that's wanted, with someone that's being persecuted. For if they associate themselves with Jesus, they fear they also will suffer the cross and be persecuted. And the irony in today's gospel is that the disciples of Jesus are not much different than the Samaritans. The disciples, too, are very much afraid of persecution in the cross. They first pretend to be very zealous in their faith by seeking retribution against the Samaritans to call down fire upon them and seek an eye for an eye. But Jesus is clear that we shouldn't curse or seek retribution against our enemies, but rather bless and care for them. The disciples also find excuses or hesitations not to follow Jesus because they're unwilling to embrace the sacrifice. They feel entitled to the goods of this world, but sometimes they need to persevere without them. They want to, for instance, bury their parents and say goodbye to their family, which is very much well-intentioned and a good thing, but they're trying to find excuses to not embark on the mission and to avoid the sacrifice. And so Jesus speaks the same message to all of us today, that we need to stick with the mission and not find excuses to avoid the sacrifice that it entails. And what's the mission today and throughout our lives? To cleanse our lives and the lives of others from the love of money in idol worship, and to replace that with the love of God and the love of neighbor. And by doing this, we become fit for the kingdom of God.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, who was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life for the world to come. Amen. Let us now lift our hearts and our minds in prayer to Almighty God. That all people find in the church the truth that sets them free. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the entire world come to know and love Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That farmers be blessed with good weather and those with food share it with the hungry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That vocations to the priesthood and religious life increase in response to the call to serve in the abundant harvest of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the souls of the faithful departed will rest in peace. We remember in a particular way, Oliver Wagner, Edward J. Curran, Bruce Robertson, Robert Buckley, for whom this mass is offered. And we pray also for Teresa Rio, Stephen Zulon, Mary Hickey, and Father Thomas Buckley, who died recently. For all these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Good and gracious God, our Father, we ask me hear our prayers and grant them according to your will. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice of your hands, hands for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of the sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity may the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the Church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. By sending down your spirits upon them, light the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which he put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks of how thus worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. To give Francis our Pope and Sean our Bishop 
and not the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, but Sir Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merits to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, in form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not Lord, worthy that you should, should enter under my roof, under my roof but, only but only say the word, say the word and my soul, soul shall be healed. Be healed.
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.